Hey guys, what's poppin? Amber here. And today we have the final guide in the series on how to change your language in League of Legends. So far, I've done Korean, Japanese, and Chinese, and you can watch all of those on my channel. And now it's finally time to do it for English. I know I've made these videos in the past, but the issue is just before the Worlds, they patched it and it's no longer possible to do it the way people like myself used to do it. So pretty much all of the older videos I've made on this are outdated, which is a shame, but hey, thankfully i'm a giant nerd so i figured out how to do it again without an issue keep in mind this will work for absolutely everyone so do not worry no matter what server you're playing from no matter what region you're playing from it will work for you and no you don't need to download anything it's like super easy also the last thing i quickly want to mention before we get onto the desktop is a question most of you have asked and that is can i just have the english voices but keep the text in my default language and the answer is no same thing goes with japanese korean in Chinese, which are the languages I've covered on this channel so far, I cannot just change my language to Korean only for the voices, like we were able to do back in the day. I also have the Korean font, Korean translation to every item, champion skin, and so on. Basically, as if I'm playing on a Korean server. Anyway, sorry for bother, let's get onto the desktop. Alrighty, so first things first, guys. What I want to do is show you how my league is by default. So I'm gonna go ahead and open League of Legends. Let's wait for it to open. There's been an updated teams and let me log in i just want to show you guys that this is my default language so it doesn't seem like i'm changing my language from english to english which makes no sense i'm using a korean league of legends client and it's all in korean if you want to know how you can do it there's a video i'll like it's gonna pop up on the top right or something like a little card this is my uh, client this is how it looks like and now let's go ahead and change it to english okay so first step to actually doing this is um closing your right client completely so not just league launcher but also the right client the way you can close that is here in the system tray uh there should be like a little right client thingy and it's gonna close by itself or sometimes it doesn't as you can see it's still here so i'm gonna close it and then i'm gonna open my task manager and check if it's still running so make sure to do this this is very important without doing this the language simply won't change and it is pretty sucky so make sure there's no right client in your task manager also forgot to mention i will also be showing you guys at the end of this video how to revert these changes in case you don't like english for whatever reason so keep that in mind don't worry if uh, you end up not liking the language you will also have a chance obviously to go back to your default one anyway step number two what we want to do is we want to open our league of legends directory the way you do that the easy way is if you have league of legends icon on your desktop if you have the shortcut you want to right click it and press properties and then we'll click on open file location and up here there's going to be right games we want to click there and then click on league of legends and there we go this is your league of legends directory if you for whatever reason do not have a league of legends shortcut what you want to do is open your uh, file explorer uh my computer or this pc or whatever it says and then it's either going to be in one of your local disk drives depending on where you um installed it mine is in c so i'm going to click on c and I'm going to find this right games folder. I want to click there and League of Legends. Here we go. This is the directory we are looking for. Step number three, what we want to do is we want to find this elite client.exe. It's probably not going to say exe for you, but don't worry. All you got to do is right click it and create a shortcut. This is probably like the most important step. So keep in mind to do that. League client, uh, right click, create a shortcut. Now, what we want to do is put this shortcut, we want to right click it and we want to click on properties. Once we're here, there's going to be this little like target box and this is where the magic happens pretty much. What you want to do is you want to go all the way to the right here, make a space, two dashes or two lines, not one, but two. Locale equals en underscore gb capital. That's all you got to do. So, um, space after the quotation marks keep in mind not in the quotation marks but after you want to make a space two lines or two dashes locale equals en underscore gb once again make sure your riot client is closed double check it doesn't matter but it needs to be closed you want to click on apply and then okay after that what we need to do is run this lee client shortcut once and we need to run it as an administrator so right click on it and click on run as administrator okay and as you can see it's going to start downloading an update depending on your internet it's probably going to take longer but it needs to update english voices and uh, translations and so on what i'm going to do right now is log in and here we go it's launching 
All right, so um, this is the launcher. As I said, it will have to download some things once you change this uh, to English or any language to say there's like this language package and it's going to, going to have to download it. And I will pretty much just wait for the downloading to finish. And then we're going to go ahead and jump into the game and see if everything works. All right, so downloading finished. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the practice tool so you guys can see the voice lines and the announcer and all of that. So I'm just going to choose like a random champion. This is the splash screen. And here we go. So voice lines seem to work. That's perfect. All we need to do is hear the announcer and there it is. So as I said, pretty much, um, that was it. Just follow the instructions carefully and you'll be fine. And now for the people that want to know how to revert these changes and go back to their original language, I will show you how to do that in a second. But first things first, what we need to do is once again, close league, just like we did. Of course, meaning you have to make sure the whole Riot client is closed, not just the League of Legends client. So we're going to go down in the system tray and press exit. For some reason, it's not letting me close it. There we go. It takes a bit of time after you close league. But uh, now head to the task manager. Make sure it's off everywhere. Otherwise, this is not going to work. A lot of people are having problem with this. That's why I'm showing it again. I know it's a bit annoying, but make sure to keep that in mind, please. Once again, we're going to head to our League of Legends directory. You guys know how to do that already. And we're going to find the shortcut that we've used to um, change our language to English. Keep in mind, you don't need to use this shortcut anymore. Once you change your language to English, you can just use the normal shortcut and it will work just fine. Anyways, for the purpose of going back to our old language, we'll need it again. And we don't need to delete this one. We can just um, right click it and properties again. And here we have it. So as you guys know, by the default, add Korean. So what I'm going to do is only thing I need to do is delete this EN underscore GB because that's a language code. And I'm just going to type in KO underscore KR capital, whatever language you had before. All you have to do is like Google League of Legends uh, language codes and you'll find your own code for your own country. So mine was KO KR. I mean, KO underscore KR, and I'm going to click on apply and OK. And don't forget the most important thing. Right click this shortcut, not the original one, but the shortcut and uh, run as an administrator. We're going to wait for it to open. And here we go. It's back to Korean. Once again, it's going to do a little bit of downloading. That's fully normal. Don't worry. I'm going to go ahead and log in and see if it worked. And voila, there it is. There you guys have it. Hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I answer as many comments as I can, so I'll do my best to help you out. And as always, see you in the next one.